Okay, all right. Uh, very good evening, everyone. It's 7 p.m. now, so we'll be starting our webinar proper. My name is Haiti, and I'm from the sales team at Sexo Market Singapore and the host for tonight's webinar. And I'm happy to inform you that today's content is brought to you by Sexo in collaboration with Direction. And we are very honored to have with us today Grace Chu, Managing Director from Direction. And she'll be sharing about the leverage and inverse ETF space. And also, a warm a warm welcome and thank you everyone for taking your time to join us this evening. And if you have questions along the way regarding sexual platform or, or the content shared by Grace, feel free to post them in the chat box as chat box at any time and we'll address all the questions at the end during the QA section. Yeah, so before we begin our webinar, um this is a disclaimer that today uh, content share with you is for your general knowledge and does not constitute financial advice so please only trade or invest after you have read your read the and the and understood the risk and our webinar will take about um, 45 minutes and this will be the flow of today's session i will start off with a quick introduction on our sexual trader go platform and also um, followed by sharing on leverage and inverse ETFs by Grace from Direction. And we have some time for Q&A session at the end. And then we will close off the session with some closing remarks. Okay, so to start the webinar proper, I will go through how to assess our trading platform for the interest of new clients. So um, you can um, assess our platform two ways by keying in the URL sexotrader.com or alternatively, you can also visit our Sexo website and click on the right corner, login. So upon clicking, you can see that Sexo offers different platforms to suit your needs. So they are both available on desktop and also on the mobile application. So you can download the app and also trade on the go. And I will now uh, demonstrate how you can build a diverse portfolio on our award-winning platform, Sexo Trader Go. Okay, so when you log into Sexo Trader Go platform, this is um, what you will see is uh, divided into three main sections. And so uh, first thing that I want to go through with you everyone today is on the watch list and screener function. So on the watch list, this is where you can build a diverse um, portfolio. You can select different instruments across different asset classes so and add them to the watch list to monitor them and especially if you are interested in today's topic on ETFs do make use of the research tab bar on the top and click on ETFs and this will bring you to the page where it will show you all the best performing ETFs and also the best rated ETFs based on Morningstar ratings. So back to the main trading page. So in line with today's presentation on ETFs offered by Direction, um, you can create a dedicated screener or watch list to monitor them. So to create a watch list, just click on new and name, name the watch list as you like. So I could name as Direction ETFs and save the watch list. So after that, you can search under over here, the feature at instrument and you can key in again the direction name and you will see all the ETS offered by direction. So you can just click on whichever that you are interested in and just click to add into the watch list. And likewise, um, you can also search on the instrument search at the right top corner. Same thing, you just search for direction and you can just click and add them to the watch list. And on the product overview page, click on the star icon to add to the watch list. Okay, and moving on to the screener function, and you can also um, filter out the ETFs offered by direction. So just choose ETF and choose the issuer as direction. Yep, and this will bring you to all the ETFs that are offered by direction. Okay, so now with understanding of how the Sexo Trader Go platform works, it gives me great pleasure to welcome Grace from Direction to share with you to, on today's topic, Leverage and Inverse ETFs. I'll now hand over the mic to um, Grace. Thanks, Hathi. Okay, let me share the screen first. Okay. 
Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, thanks for attending this webinar and also thanks to Saxo for organizing this live, live webinar today. My name is Grace Chu and I've been doing the business development for directions uh, in Asia for almost 10 years. Um, the topic for today's webinar will be what you need to know about leverage and inverse ETF. So on this webinar, I will introduce the latest ETF products in US market, um, AKA single star leverage verse ETF. Also, I will talk about the basics and the important features of leverage and inverse ETF and share with you the recent popular trading themes with leverage and inverse ETF trading. I hope um, everyone could really understand the features and the risk of leverage and inverse ETF um, and how to use them in the correct way after today's webinar. And these slides, uh, these slides are disclosures required by the regulator. The webinar for the uh, today is for the education only and are not intended for um, any sales or marketing discussion under any circumstances. So if you ever traded US listed leverage and inverse ETF, probably you may have heard about Direction, this company. Directions is among the top two global provider of leverage and inverse ETF product. It is particularly famous for three times leverage and inverse ETF in the world. Uh, so far, we have 79 ETFs listed on New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ Stock Exchange. Most of them are three times leverage and inverse ETF. In addition to leverage inverse ETF, um, we also have eight non leverage thematic ETFs on our product line. As mentioned, Directions uh, core product line is leverage and inverse ETF. And leverage inverse ETF actually are short-term trading tools uh, that enable traders to express their bullish or bearish view. The other product line, thematic ETF, are non-leverage ETF uh, that help buy and hold investor to achieve their long-term outperformance uh, while seeking more specific objectives such as commodities or clean energies, etc. And so uh, this slide, I want to show you why, uh, you know, the reason why we want to highlight leverage and inverse ETF today um, is the traditional 60. 40 portfolio of stock and bond allocation fell in 2022. Last year is a very tough year for most of the, the asset classes, such as stock, bond, and even cryptocurrencies. Um, so last year, only commodity, oil, and US dollar recorded annual gains. And look forward this year, Although, you know, um, stock and bond have had notable rebound year to day, there are still many catalysts that, you know, uh, catalysts that might trigger higher upside or downside volatility ahead, which might bring more market volatility and um, the role of short term trading tools such as leverage reverse ETF will become more important um, for investors to capture the short-term potential market rally or hedge the down market. So um, traditional non-leveraged ETF, as everyone knows, that kind of traditional or original ETF are usually physical ETF. And that kind of ETF actually acquire and hold the underlying assets or securities on which the ETF's value is based or tracked, such as iShare or Vanguard's ETF. Leverage inverse ETF um, is a financial instrument uh, that offer magnified exposure to the movement of the underlying asset, which can be basket of um, stocks, aka indexes, uh, single stock, bond, or even commodities. 
leverage reverse ETF, um, a symmetric ETF. A uh, symmetric ETF usually use derivative products to implement its strategic methodology. Most importantly, the return of leverage reverse ETF is daily based. Um, they are designed to provide the certain leverage ratio of its tracking assets daily return. So this is very important about leveraging an inverse ETF product. As you can see from this slide, let's um, take a look. Um, that, let's take a daily three time leverage and inverse ETF, for example. If the tracking index is up 1% today, this daily three time leverage ETF will go up 3%. Um, while the inverse, the daily three time inverse ETF will be down 3% today. However, if the tracking index is down 1% today, this daily three times leverage ETF will record 3% loss today, while the daily three times inverse ETF will go up 3% today. With leverage and inverse ETF, investors can not only express their tactical bullish or bearish view, but also amplify the potential return by taking advantage of the daily leverage ratios generated by leverage inverse ETF. And I want to share with you last July, US regulator, US SEC actually allow single stock leverage and inverse ETF. The operation and structure of a single stock leverage and inverse ETF are the same as existing leverage and inverse ETF, except that the tracking asset of the single stock leverage and inverse ETF is a stock instead of a basket of securities or indices. Single stock leverage and inverse ETF are nothing new. To be honest, the European market has had traded this product since 2018, investors have been using um, this kind of single stock left reverse ETF for daily and the swing trading purposes. And here I also want to share more about single stock left reverse ETF with you. So with the arrival of a single stock leverage, leverage reverse ETF in US, um, you know, this changed the ETF landscape significantly. This product um, have numerous uses uh, and will likely attract high inflow from retail investor uh, tra uh, traditionally limited to margin and option trade. So far, um, there are three important issue of single stock leverage and inverse ETF in US market. Direction is one of them. Uh, the popular tracking stock um, are Tesla, Apple, Amazon.com, Nvidia, et cetera, as you can see from this slide. Um, the leverage ratio of a single stock ETF that tracking tech stocks are lower, uh, such as, as you can see, uh, only 1.5 time, 1.75 time, in terms of inverse, only kind of one time inverse ETF, while SEC allow two time leverage and two time inverse ETF only uh, on the single stock leverage that track Nike and Pfizer. This is because um, tech stocks um, are having are having higher volatility and the US regulator, um, they kind of limited the leverage ratio due to the concentration, concentration risk uh, concerns. And leverage and inverse ETF actually, they are just ETF and they are traded on a stock uh, exchange like stocks. There's no minimum holding period or low minimum investment for leverage and inverse ETF. In Asia, you can find two times leverage, um, one time inverse or two time inverse ETF listed on local stock exchange. Um, but in US market, you can find leverage inverse ETF with a higher leverage ratio, such as three times leverage inverse ETF. Uh, unlike other derivative products trading, there's no risk for, um, there's no risk of margin call. Uh, there's no, no risk of forced li um, uh, liquidations for leverage inverse ETF, which means 
the maximum loss of leverage and inverse ETF is the initial invest is your initial investment. From this slide, um, you can see why many investors use um, leverage reverse ETF as the alternative to futures. Leverage reverse ETF um, actually have similar features as futures such as long or short the market and leverage up the potential return. While leverage reverse ETF don't have this drawback that futures countries have. For example, no margin account is required um, or no forced liquidations, etc. So, and compared to margin trading um, or short selling of single stock, single stock leverage and inverse ETF actually are easier and simple to use and uh, have lower trading costs. For example, from this metric, we can see the total expense ratio of the Tesla leverage and inverse ETF is 0.99% annually, which is only two base point um, per week. However, the financing rates or the margin trading for Tesla uh, is about 4.8% and the short selling rate is 3.25% annually. Uh, remember, don't forget the short selling rate is not fixed and are subjected to the short selling pool of the stock. Also, when the um, short selling investor are too concentrated or the short selling pool um, is, um, is, uh, is in short supply, the stock cannot be borrowed from the from the broker, from the broker, or from the brokerage. So um, after after give you some introduction of left inverse ETF. Here we will take a look at two important characteristics of leverage reverse ETF. And I will explain why I keep saying leverage reverse ETF are short term trading tool instead of um, buy and hold long term investment. So usually the most frequently asked questions about leverage inverse ETF um, is what's inside of leverage and inverse ETF. The components inside leverage inverse ETF in the world actually are very similar. They are a combination of cash um, equity and derivative typically use um, swaps or futures. Leverage reverse ETF list in US market usually use swap as the derivative tool. As you can see from this table, uh, a daily three times leverage ETF is composed of cash, equity, and derivative. A daily three times inverse ETF is uh, composed of cash and derivative only. Leverage reverse ETF are daily base, are daily basis. Remember, for example, a daily three times leverage ETF is designed um, to provide three times of the index, the index daily return, not three times of the index more than one day's cumulated return. So this is very important about left inverse ETF for investors to understand. And single stock leverage and inverse ETF um, actually are operating under similar principle to generate uh, to to general leverage inverse ETF, except that the underlying uh, the underlying assets um, of the single stock leverage leverage inverse ETF is um, a, a stock instead of an index or a basket of stocks. Uh, so single stock leverage reverse ETF, as you can understand, uh, will have more or additional concentration risk and may be more volatile than the other existing general lever leverage reverse ETF, which track indexes or track uh, a basket of stocks. And here are the most important two characteristics of leverage reverse ETF daily rebalancing and implication of compounding. For a three-time leverage ETF, daily rebalancing process is usually done near or at the daily market closing time to ensure this ETF track as closely 
as possible to three times of the benchmark's daily performance. And this daily rebalancing causes compounding effect when calculating the total return more than one day. Trending up the market will favor left reverse ETF with daily rebalancing and the compounding that will amplify long-term return. However, remember the compounding effect of the daily return works against long-term holding leverage reverse ETF in a choppy market. Here is the easy way to understand daily rebalancing. Let's take a uh, let's take a daily three time leverage, which means bull three times bull ETF. For example, here when this leverage ETF tracking index rises. As you can see, the asset of this leverage ETF rise. So the ETF has to buy more exposure to the index at the daily market closing time. So that the ETF's total exposure is equal to three times of the ETF's new level of asset for the next day. On the contrary, from this slide, as we can see, when the Trade uh, when the tracking index declines, um, the asset of the three time leverage or three time bull ETF will also decline. So the ETF must reduce its exposures, uh, exposures to the index that uh, at the daily market closing time. So that um, the ETF's total exposure is once again equal to three times of the ETF's new level of new assets, uh, a new level of the net asset for the next day. Uh, so therefore, it's easy to understand uh, what is daily rebalancing. So essentially, we are leveraging up on um, up days and down on um, down day for the leverage ETF. That is the main cause of um, compounding, um, which I will cover in the next slide. So look at the, let's take a look at the implication of compounding in a trending up market for a daily three times leverage ETF. If the benchmark index move in the direction favorable to the leverage ETF in the linear trend for the period greater than one day, like the example here, the benchmark um, index rises um, steadily in the past five days in a row. The daily three times leverage ETF's total gain for the past five days is much larger than the cumulative index return multiplied by three times here, as you can see. This is because as the ETF's net asset rise with the favorable market direction, the ETF must respond by increasing its exposure to the index and therefore amplifying the impact of subsequent favorable index movement. If the benchmark uh, index move in a direction unfavorable to this leverage ETF, meaning down for a leverage ETF, in a linear trend for a period of more than one day, the ETF losses for the periods may be less than the cumulative index, index loss multiplied by three times here, as you can see from this table. This is because um, as the ETF's net asset falls with the unfavorable direction, the ETF must respond by decreasing its exposure to this index and therefore reducing the impacts of subsequent unfavorable index movement. However, um, as I mentioned uh, on earlier slide, choppy market is not good for leverage reverse ETF. This is because in the volatile market that shows no clear trend or no clear direction, the impact of daily rebalancing can be harmful to the performance of leverage or inverse ETF over time. Uh, as described above, um, the ETF respond to the gain by increasing expo exposure to the index and respond to the loss by decreasing exposure each day. Increased exposure in advance of a loss 
will generate a larger loss and decrease the exposure in advance of gain will, de will decrease the impact and the benefit of the future gains for the leverage ETF. So a continual patterns of, of this sort will typically cause the decay of the long-term return of the leverage reverse ETF. So in the table above on this slide, we can see an example of le a leverage ETF that has a negative return after six days period of a volatile yet cumulatively flat index return. Now you understand why I keep saying that uh, or keep emphasize leverage reverse ETF are designed for short-term trading tool, you know, instead of traditional buy and hold long-term investment uh, investment asset. So I think the key point and um, an important takeaway about leverage reverse ETF is First of all, the performance of the leverage and inverse ETF is based on the daily base uh, and based on the daily price performance of its underlying asset of, of, of its underlying index. Second of, uh, second of all, holding the leverage or inverse ETF with uh, ETF for periods longer than one day will be impacted by the effects of compounding. Lastly, trending market favor leverage inverse ETF with daily rebalancing and daily compounding that will amplify long-term return. But uh, the compounding effect of a daily return works against holding leverage inverse ETF more than one day in the choppy market. And here is the here um let's see i want to share with you how sophisticated investor or how traders use leverage and inverse etf so leverage inverse etf um are designs for are not designed for long-term investments this kind of ET, leverage inverse etf are short-term trading tool so there are always um core investment or satellite investments in your portfolio. Investors, of course, can buy and hold core investment assets for a long term, such as fixed income, bond, US Treasury, value stock, you know, properties, or like non-leverage ETF such as iShare or Vanguard ETF. However, you will not buy and hold um, satellite investment tools such as futures for more than one month without rolling over. Um, satellite investment are designed for short-term trading only. And leverage inverse ETF are catalyzed as satellite investment. And according to our survey, the average holding period of a three-time leverage inverse ETF is only three to five days, which is very important. And after you understand, after you understand daily rebalancing and uh, compounding about leverage inverse ETF, now you should uh, you should know leverage inverse ETF are not suitable for every investors. They are appropriate for sophisticated investors only. So if you are a sophisticated investor who understand um, the use of leverage and inverse exposure and the consequences of using leverage, as well as you are intend to actively monitor your portfolio or manage your trades, every day leverage and inverse etf might be appropriate for you however if you are a conservative long-term investor or cannot monitor your portfolio uh or or your your, your stock or, or your stock list in the daily base please stay away from leverage inverse etf here are some examples um how sophisticated uh, investor or traders use leverage inverse etf so many investors use leverage reverse ETF as the um, alternative to future because leverage reverse ETF have uh, similar features, but there's no margin account or margin call required. Uh, there's no need for monthly rollover either. Uh, plus, not all benchmark 
or asset in the world have the corresponding futures contracts to trade, such as MSCI Emerging Market Index, which is a very popular index. So investors will use left inverse ETF tracking this benchmark. For example, we, we do found uh, many mid-size or small size that hedge funds use um, emerging market leverage and inverse ETF um, to do uh, their, you know, to, to conduct their bullish or their bearish views um, to long or short emerging market because there is no uh, liquid futures country on um, uh, overall emerging market uh, stock index. So recently, many investors also use inverse ETF, which the, the bearish the ETF, to hedge the market plunge in the extreme volatile market environment. We also saw investors um, use left inverse ETF to do the opportunities trading during the quarterly corporate earning report season, which is happening right now, and also to trade left reverse ETF um, uh, during the FOMC meetings week. So here are the bottom line for leverage and inverse ETF. Um, you need to keep in mind that in the long run, leverage reverse ETF are uh, you know, you know, leverage reverse ETF are short-term trading tool, not buy and hold investment. So you must monitor leverage reverse ETF every day if you buy leverage reverse ETF. And in the long run, leverage reverse ETF will not likely um, track the benchmark index. This is not because of tracking error. This is because leverage and inverse ETF are not designed to be buy and hold uh, for a long period on, uh, on adjusted. So leverage reverse ETF or symmetric ETF. Um, so as you can, as you know, symmetric ETF, um, symmetric ETF definitely have credit risk. So you have to keep that in mind as well. And uh, the most important um, takeaway for leverage reverse ETF is leverage reverse ETF are appropriate for sophisticated or actively trading investors. If you are conservative or you are a long-term investor, left reverse ETF are probably, you know, not the is that not exactly not the right tool for you. So before you consider to trade left reverse ETF, please, please understand what kind of uh, investor you are and please understand what's the important characteristic and what is important risk of leverage reverse ETF before you start trading this kind of short-term trading tool. So at the end, I want to share with you some popular uh, theme or some popular trading idea in terms of leverage reverse ETF trading in the market. So um, as we as we observe, yield trades, including U.S. Treasury, gold, uh, gold miner, and U.S. real estate. Uh, have been very popular um, as this kind of asset classes are very sensitive to the U.S. yield movement. Semiconductor sector here um, has been traded a lot in the past three years. Our semiconductor leverage ETF is actually one of the 10 most heavily traded ETF last year in the world. And U.S. technology sector have been volatile um, and also attracting many short-term trader or short-term investor to use tech, uh, te te uh, technology left inverse ETF for the volatility trade. We also saw investors use Hong Kong or China leverage inverse ETF or China technology leverage ETF to trade China reopening theme. Um, oil and energy sector are under the spotlight since last year, and we believe um, oil and energy sector will, you know, will continue, um, you know, the, the, the attention on this sector will continue this year. Biotech and the healthcare sector uh, recently are catching the investors' in uh, attention this year as well. So at the end, here I summarize the trending, uh, the trading theme I mentioned with their corresponding indices for your reference here. For example, S and P track blue, uh, track the the blue chip stock. Russell two thousand tracks U S small cap. U R uh, C S I uh, C uh, C uh, S uh, C S I three hundred tracks China market. 
if you want to trade this thing, definitely you can find many ETF or leverage inverse ETF, uh, which are tracking these famous uh, indices. And on this page, here are the list of representative and the famous sector indexes. You could find all the corresponding ETF or leverage inverse ETF tracking these indices on Saxo's trading platform as well. I think that brings us to the end of the webinar. I sincerely appreciate your attention tonight. If anyone have any question, I am happy to open up the discussion in the Q&A section. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Grace. Um, that was very insightful and informative. So uh, for the audience, if you are interested in leverage and inverse ETFs offered by Direction, please head over to Saxo Trader Go platform and use the, let me share the screen. Yes, so please head over to the Saxo Trader Go platform and use the screener function to filter out the ETFs offered by Direction. Okay, and Grace, we do have a couple of questions from the sure. audience, if you could kindly address them. So, um, I think you mentioned a few times about how leverage and inverse ETF is not for long term, it's for short term. So, yes. could you um, explain one more time? So, if let's say an uh, investor is expecting the market, the benchmark index to so, uh, perform well in three months time, then should I be tr uh, buying leverage inverse ETF? Uh, I'll, I'll put that this way. Um, it, it is, um, um, yes, leverage inverse ET, I think the, the most important character is the, is the tracking the daily return, you know, the like two times or three times or minus two times, three times of the daily return of its tracking index or tracking asset. So, um, so of course, I mean, some investors, if they have very strong view on the market or on some asset, they want to buy and hold more than one day, is that okay? Yes, of course, it's, it is fine. But the, in, uh, the important thing is that if you plan to buy and hold left reverse ETF for more than one day, let's say one week or two weeks, please, please, um, the investor have to monitor I know their holdings of left reverse ETF every day because this is kind of three time leverage. So if one day, you know, at, you know, the, the tracking index go to the, uh, the, you know, unfavorable direction, you know, the loss can be amplified as well. Yeah. So, so this is what I'm saying. It, I'm not saying you cannot buy and hold left reverse ETF, but when the holding period uh, is longer, you know, the uncertainties mm -hmm. during the holding period, you know, you know, there's more uncertainty might happen. So that's what I'm saying It's better do a short term trade if in the coming one week you you feel that or according according to your survey or your study you think the market or some specific asset might have uh, might have uh, you know might might ready a lot or might go down a lot you can just uh, amplify your potential return maybe just trade left over or inverse ETF during that week you know with very uh, it was very uh, strong trend, obvious trend up or trend down. And I think that's the, that, that for me, that that's the best, uh, you know, scenario for investor to use left inverse ETF. Okay, thank you. So um, say we have more questions from the floor. So the audience also want to know if there's any kind of fees or expense ratio. Uh, yes, for leverage inverse ETF, um, of course, it, it's kind of a fund, extra, uh, exchange trade fund. So, of course, there's uh, we call expense ratio, which is management fee. So, for three time leverage inverse ETF, the expense ratio, annually expense ratio is about 0.99%, not less than 1%. So, if you spread the, the, the fee, uh, it's just like two base, two base point per week. Yeah, so this, uh, as I think, uh, compared to uh, to futures or other derivative or trading product, I think this kind of, it, it is cheap. And uh, according to our observation, uh, investors usually really don't care about the fee of left reverse ETF because th this is not buy, buy and hold. No one will buy and hold left reverse for one year. So usually kind of just one week or two weeks. Okay, okay, thank you, Grace. And also, um, do leverage ETF prices you um tend to go down to zero? And if it does, why does that happen? Yeah, that's a very that's a very 
good questions. Um, so uh, actually, this uh, so yes, of course. Um, straight high leverage or leverage reverse ETF um, definitely. Uh, that's that's take up take three times. You know, leverage ETF. Um, for example, let's say if the three time leverage or three time inverse ETF underlying index or underlying asset move more than thirty percent on a given trading day in the direction which is adverse to this ETF. Um, the ETF's value definitely would go to zero. But the directions as an issuer, actually, um, actually we have uh, we, 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 we have a special, we have a special kind of not not special, but we have a risk uh, control. We have a we have a risk control rule. Uh, so direction we will attempt to position um to position each etf's portfolio to ensure um that an etf doesn't gain or loss more than 90 percent of its net as a value on a given trading day which means you know therefore um an etf portfolio should not be responsible for the underlying index movement beyond 30 beyond 30 percent on a given trading day uh whether that move whether that movement is favorable or uh unfavorable to the etf for example if a three times um leverage etf underlying assets um if that you know the underlying assets um is uh was to gain 35 percent on a given trading day that leverage et that three times leverage, leverage etf um, Total, uh, total gain or total turn will limit to ninety percent per that day, um, which corresponds to three. You know, so so this is the this is the kind of risk uh, mechanism. So, so on the other hand, if the three time leverage ETF trading asset is down thirty five percent in one day, the maximum loss for this three time leverage reverse ETF is capped uh, limited. Um, 90 percent uh, loss only and for the next time we recalculate we reset because this is the daily reset product okay okay thank you grace so for last question just now you mentioned of um, some of the popular team trading teams right now in the current market conditions so could you also share with us is there like um leverage and inverse ETFs issue by direction surrounding these popular themes yeah, I think semi semiconductor definitely uh, leverage and inverse ETF have been uh, our most popular leverage inverse ETF uh, in Asia and in the world. And the other thing recently, as I mentioned, like um, um, actually, for example, like large cap S and P five hundred, because we know that the market rebound a lot year to day, but uh, still there are so many uncertainties and people really have concern about economic recession. So we also see some interest in the, you know, the hedging products such as like inverse S&P 500. And as you can find on um, Saxo's platform, uh, actually, in terms of inverse ETF, they are one time inverse, two time inverse, or three time inverse. So if you are a little bit more conservative, you don't want to go for three time inverse because that's uh, you know uh, compounding implication might might be very uh, might be very notable. So some people will use one time inverse ETF to do a little bit longer uh, hold it for a longer time to hedge the you know the downside market. Other than that, we also uh, see like. Um, Energy sector and all your related levels reverse ETF have been popular trade uh, as well. And biotech, bi uh, biotech, uh, healthcare, and uh, of course, gold, gold miner uh, have been always um, popular, uh, I think, in Asia and in Singapore. Uh, our gold miner have been popular trades as well. Okay, thank you, Grace, for addressing the questions. And also, of course, thank you for taking your valuable time to conduct this very useful and insightful webinar. And also a big thank you to our audience for taking their time off to join our webinar today. And we hope that Grace sharing today is useful for your future investment ideas. And of course, please head over to Sexo platform to see the ETFs offered by direction. And I would like to end off this webinar by 
showing everyone our Sexo YouTube channel. So you can search Sexo Market Singapore on YouTube and you will see very useful contents here, like the weekly market outlook uploaded by our market strategies um, in-house and also the outrageous predictions for this year. And also for new clients who are not familiar with our platform, please um, see the how-to content to get started on our Sexo platform. And also, of course, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And what, what I mentioned earlier, please head over to Sexo Trader Go, screen off function, filter out all the ETFs offered by direction. And once again, thank you, Grace, for um, sharing today. And if you have, for the audience, if you have any questions relating the content shared today or um, regarding the Sexo platform, do drop us an email at ps at sexomarkets.com. And this webinar is also recorded and will be uploaded on our website, on our platform, and also our social channels in um, next one to two business days. You can scan the QR code here on the screen to assess the webinar recording. And with that, thank you, Grace, and everyone for joining us tonight. And have a pleasant evening and also happy Chinese New Year to everyone. Thank you, Hattie. Thank, Thank you, everyone. You. Have Thank a good you. evening. Bye-bye. Yep,